Before we get into today's video, I just wanted to quickly say that I just recently released brand new exclusive merch for my YouTube channel, all right? And you already know it's absolute fire. So first link in the description, go check it out. And thank you all for the amazing support. Today, we're gonna be using the Apache Prime, which is the top path fit tier upgrade on the Heli Pilot. Not gonna lie, haven't heard the greatest of things, but we'll make things work out because we always do. So let's go. All right, boys, so we're going against Violet Hero 1854 on the map Plutonium Mines, and I'm using Open Heli Village Ice, all right? I'm gonna be starting off actually immediately with our Ice Tower all the way up here, just a 0, zero, zero Ice because I think we can actually also, too, Go over open here right at the start of round one, right? And the earlier that we get our hero, the better. So let's just go for him right there. I think that should be a pretty decent positioning for him because we got to think about the future. We want his trees ability to be in a pretty good position where it could eat up a ton of AI balloons. So yeah, I like that a lot. And it looks like Violet Hero is going to end up starting off with the Taxter as their first popping power tower, okay? He's also sending us some space blues right now really okay so let's just go for the zero one two with a zero one two we should be able to fully defend against all of those and oh he's using the druid oh no okay no it's fine it's fine we are in casual mode so most people tend to not use meta towers but maybe he's using the meta tower because he specifically needs xp for it so if that's the case that actually makes quite a bit of sense but he did go for the heart of vengeance upgrade oh we're going to go for heli here oh we need a heli oh my god i didn't have enough money for it okay we're gonna leak we're gonna leak you know what it's fine it's fine he got the first blood but we got heli boys so we just regenerate our lives so that's the amazing thing about the heli okay but he did go for the heart of vengeance like i said but he needs to still intentionally leak lives he does have the tax shooters so honestly he's not gonna be able to leak lives with that tax shooter being there okay so don't really know what he's doing with that. And also, too, the druid position that he currently has, it's kind of bad, okay? I'm not going to lie. It's not the greatest. Okay, tack, sub, druid. All right, so, I mean, three very... Oh, already the three zero zero, Bro, what are you doing on round four? Are you trying to go for a reactor, my dude? Oh, my God. That's too funny, boys. That is too funny. Okay, so we're going to send him some space pinks here. Oh, he's sending me space whites. Okay, we got to go for a one zero two, And I think with the one zero two, we're going to be fine. Hopefully. Yes? Yes or no? Okay, some of the space whites happen to get through, but maybe now we'll do a little bit better. I don't know if I should go for another ice or not. Um, It looks like I should. It looks like I should. Okay, so I'm going to go for another ice. That was kind of a little bit more on the expensive side, not going to lie. And also, too, he did stop sending the space whites, so... I guess I didn't actually need to do that. Whatever. It's fine. We will make everything work out. Oh, no. He's back at it with the space whites. Okay, so I'm going to start to send him some space blacks. Did I go for the zero? Yeah, I went for the 102. The 102 normally does pretty good against space whites, but I guess not in this situation, man, because low-key, we're kind of struggling, okay? But as long as we're alive, that is all that matters. Oh, we got him to leak down, too? I don't know how he leaked down. Oh, he's leaking down to the space blacks. Okay, and there he goes for the reactor. Okay, so now he's definitely... Not going to leak down. I don't think this guy really understands how to properly use the Druid, especially the Heart of Vengeance upgrade. I'm sure most of you already watching do know that you need to intentionally leak lives when using the Druid in order to get that increase of attack speed. And yes, you won't have the life advantage, but if you want to go late game, you can just use the Spirit of the Forest upgrade to regenerate your lives. So if you want to get the life advantage back, just use that upgrade. But we're sending him as many yellows as possible. Oh my Bruh. Oh my. And he went for a Druid all the way off the map? Bro, what are you doing, bro? Oh, no, he's trying to go for a druid farm. That's why he, like, kind of stopped decoying. Oh, you hate to see it. So, don't get me wrong. He, he's very close. He's got the right idea for sure. But you can have your druid farm, like, near the path because it actually can do quite a bit of damage for you, my friend. Oh, no, that hurts to see, okay? But I'm probably going to have to go for an icicles right here specifically and then also a village for cannon detection, okay? So... We're going to go for the cryo cannon, actually, right here. So let's at least go for that. Perfect. Let's send some space leads here on round 10 because they're super efficient to send. I'm going to sell that because we didn't need that anyway, I don't think, anymore. And let's continue on with these space leads. He could have sent us purples here. That would have been kind of bad. Oh, he's no lead pop power. Oh, wait. Well, if you go middle path with the reactor, you do. Okay. Or top path, Druid. You know, that, that also works, I guess. Let's go for a village, too, because currently we have literally no camera detection. So... I'm going to go for that. Go for the radar scanner. Holy crap. Oh, it's going to be sending me white balloons. Okay, so I need to go for icicles right now. Go for that. Perfect. Okay, so I think with icicles, 
we, we should be in the clear, okay? So since we also do have Heli, we can Heli farm, but we're not going to be doing that for a very, very long time. Did he just try a purple rush against me? He did, and he's trying again. Get out of here, bro. We got icicles. Zero, two, four icicles. Literally easy claps purples. Okay, he's going to be sending us even more. Bro, what don't you understand? <laughs> Unless he's literally trying to eco purples because technically you get the most amount of eco back when you send purples, but... They're not the most efficient. The most efficient, I think, are pinks, but we don't have enough money to send pink balloons right now. So it's actually yellow so that we can slowly but surely save up money so that we have proper defenses for round 17. Because on round 17, he could send us some mob, okay? And our mob defenses, they're honestly not the greatest, and they're not going to be the greatest. So we're going to probably have to go. We could go for a mob trap. We could do a lot of different things. So... Let's just like hope and pray that he doesn't send us that because honestly, that means we're gonna have to spend a lot of money and I don't wanna do that, okay? All right, so it's round 17 now. Uh, he has two druid farms, okay, well done, but both literally practically off the map. <laughs> so again, it's just not gonna be doing any pop power damage for him. I could easily send him a mob here and he would definitely struggle. He probably wouldn't even build up anything. So yeah, we're, we're not gonna do that, okay? That's not the goal. The goal is to not win right now, but to showcase the Apache Prime. And in order to do that, we need to go late game because I think the upgrade alone is like $45,000, okay? So it's quite expensive. And when we do heli farm here, by the way, too, I'm gonna make sure that I consistently eco as well because on a map like this, we're actually kind of limited to the amount of helis that we can put on the map. And also, too, because we are going late game, I want to have a substantial amount of eco because eventually we're going to sell all of our heli farms and then replace them um, with actual DPS towers. So probably 402 uh, helis, okay? Because I think, what are those called? The Apache Dart Ships? Yeah, Apache Dart Ships. Those, I don't know how good they are, but they seem pretty good. I mean, they're going to be $20,000 a piece, so they better be good, all right? So there we go for our first support Chinook on round 19. I think that's good right that that's got to be good also let's switch over to now eco with pink balloons okay but still we don't have good defenses for moabs okay we do have the downdraft as well on this uh support chinook so we can use that to our advantage how much do we get per crate again i kind of forget oh we can also just go for trees too okay so we get four thousand dollars per crate let's just have trees eat up that mob for us so that we can get the max amount of money out of the trees eventually okay so that's why i also backed up these helis a little bit and oh my god guys look look at his side okay so that's gonna be able to do a little bit of damage all right all right he's doing good he went for the overdrive he's got a decent amount of druid farms right now you know things are actually looking kind of good for him and there we go got that max money from that also went for another heli farm and then we could probably even go for another one after that all right so yeah see look these helipads they take up so much freaking space like no joke that's actually insane boys okay so again Really limited to the amount of heli farms that we can have on the map. Oh, yeah. Let's use that ability. Awesome. And I think we can also get, like, two over here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Got to have pixel perfect freaking placement. That would be really hard on mobile. Now that I think about it. Not going to lie. Okay. So, let's go for trees once again so that we can get a little bit more money out of the AI balloons. Let's use this heli farm. Oh, dude. We're rolling in the dough. Okay. So, we got to watch out for round 26 specifically because he could send us DDTs. I think we can go for another heli farm, by the way, if I'm not mistaken underneath this. Can we not? No way we can't, right? I swear we could have. You know what? I I'm pretty sure we can, but right now we can't because we messed up replacement. It's fine, okay? It is fine. I'm going to go for another heli farm, though, in here. Dude, see? You have to have, like, such precise placements, man. Like, this is crazy, guys. Oh, my. Okay, so good thing, again, that we are on PC because it's a lot easier to set down helis and whatnot on PC, okay? But... It is now, what, round 25. I would like to go for another heli farm, but... Oh, wait. Dude, what the heck? That mob got through. Let's get that money from those trees. Awesome. Dude, this mob, it was pushing, boys. Holy. Okay, so I want to go for an icicle and pale. So we're going to go for that. Now, where would I like to go for that is the ultimate question. Um, I guess, like, right here should be a pretty decent spot. Yeah, that's going to be fine for us. I'm also going to have... I'm going to need a village in the middle of the map, okay? So I'm going to go for that right here. Let's make sure that it has cam detection. Let's go... Okay, so we could sell you because we don't need you any longer. Oh, yeah, let's use these heli abilities. I kind of forgot about that, boys. I'm going to go for the Icicle Impale right now. And we need MIB on that so they can actually pop DDTs for us. So, dude, I know I'm, like, off with using my abilities. I'm sorry, guys, okay? I could be a little bit more efficient, but... You know what? We got the Icicle Impale now on the map. Oh, dude, it's not going to be doing... We're not going to get that much money from our trees, though. 
That's kind of bad. You know what? It's fine, okay? It, like, it helps, but, like, it's not the end of the world. Because, like, we don't need to rely off of it, you know? Oh, did he just send us DDT? He did. He sent us DDTs, boys. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I'm going to go for an Apache dart ship here. Now, is that going to actually do anything for us, or do we need MIB? We might, might need MIB, okay? So, because of that, I'm just going to go for jungle jumps as well, just to be ultra, ultra safe. And, yeah, I'm going to be able to shred that. I can't believe you. I can't believe you. What in the world? Let's get that money, too, from there. I was about to say, big brain plays over here. We're going to freeze the water so that we can set down even more helis. I know. I know. I'm 200 IQ. Accidentally just went for the special poperations. Um, I don't know what that does. I was going to make a video on it anyway, so... Yeah, we did that. <laughs> that that kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie, okay? Because that was like a big waste of money. But you know what? We're out here vibing. We're about to have 6,000 eco, okay? And once we hit that amount, honestly, probably going to call it a day. Oh, we get 8,000 from that crate. Cool. Awesome. That That's amazing, okay? So yeah, let's stop E Queen at 6,001 eco, ladies and gentlemen. And let's continue on heli farming. But we got to make sure that we also go for these fifth tier upgrades. But as of right now... Looks like our opponent, Violet Hero, is currently equaling, okay? And we do have that juicy life advantage, so that means he's going to have to rush us whether he wants to or not, okay? And let's also just go for the Apache Prime, because literally want not her, right? So, got that on the map. We're not going to be able to see yet how well it can do, okay? But it, it looks pretty cool, I guess, right now. Dude, we could have went for a primary expertise. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for a primary expertise literally right here i don't know maybe with apache prime too you can pop leads not sure because dude with the case of the sky shredder who knew this i did not know this with the sky shredder once you upgrade to the sky shredder it gains lead popping power abilities i did not know that like it shoots out darts and normally darts can't pop lead so i found that very very strange but let's just go for the primary expertise right here and we're gonna go for trees as well perfection and then i'm gonna go for super brittle I think actually right here because that's going to be pretty good for us. So let's go with that. And then I'm going to have embrittlements constantly throughout the map as well. Okay. And honestly, now I'm going to start slowly selling off these heli farms because we don't need them anymore. Okay. We don't really need the money. And once again, he's going to have to rush us. Okay. So I'm going to go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so these are on pursuit. I'm gonna have to tower boost this right now. We're gonna have to use a homeland. Where's my homeland? Oh my god, it's all the way down here. Let's also use that. Oh my god. Hopefully, hopefully we can defend this, right? Hopefully we can defend this. Oh, we're shredding. Oh, we're shredding, boys. Oh, this is too easy. It's too easy. Wait, it's not actually that easy. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Let's go for trees too. Oh wait, trees is not two. Oh my god. How are we? Ha no. How have we pop this down? Pop it down for us. What the heck? I'm going to have to go for another um, homeland. Okay, so let's go for that. Oh, I swear I sold this. Okay, so let's use homeland defense now. Oh, did he send me more than two? He must have. Oh, God. Can we defend against all this? We probably need a couple of moab shoves. Okay, so I can sell you. Wait, why am I not selling? Okay, did I just tower boost? I think I did. I think I did, and I think I'm good. Okay, so I need to go. Can I set this heli down? Can I set? I can't. I can't set it down. You know what? It doesn't matter because we defended, I think. Oh my goodness, boys. I was not ready for that. I I was really not ready for that. Okay, so one eternity later. Well, he's not rushing us, boys, so we might as well just rush him because yeah, this is yeah, this is just sad, man. Two very boring minutes later. And that's a GG. And if you guys have not already, make sure to check out this video where I use a late game strategy that is way better than you think.